Hey guys, so every Monday, except this video might be uploaded Tuesday for you. Or maybe still Monday for you. It depends on where you are in the world. But happy Monday, happy Tuesday, good evening, good morning. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Or afternoon, because you could... I, I don't know what time it is. Hello, how are you doing? So this is going to be a new segment series on my channel where every Monday I'm going to talk to you about games that I've played in the previous week, just update you, because... It'll help me, like, it'll motivate me to, like, make sure I am playing something. Like, I know people would like me to do more Let's Plays on my gaming channel, especially for the 3DS. I've had requests for Tomodachi Life and Animal Crossing to do that. Unfortunately, to do that at a regular scheduled pace, I need a 3DS capture card. Unfortunately, I don't have that at the time. So, for right now, I can just tell you what I'm doing and only do the home console things on the gaming channel. But right now, let me just divulge into what I'm playing what I played last week, and then I also want you guys to comment down below and let's discuss, maybe help each other out if we've played a game before, if we got stuck somewhere and there's a fly buzzing around here and I hope it doesn't get in the way of the camera, I just uh, touched my hand. So this video I'd like to just have all of us just discuss our video games that we are currently playing and help each other out if they're things we've played before. Also this is the opportunity every week where I'm going to shout people out on my Patreon page who support me at a certain pledge and it'll be up every single week your name and your channel or Twitter handle whatever you want me to promote if you pledge a certain amount that will be here every week for everybody to see at the beginning of video and then we get on to talking about video games that we are playing so as of right now I finally have my star and special cups of the 150 cc Mario Kart 8 races on my gaming channel they are both up unfortunately they are not three stars they I've had like they weren't perfect races but I was playing on Sunday last week and I was both times I had perfect races the first three races and both in the very last road in the star cup and in the special cup literally the last minute I got first taken away from me in both cups one right after the other and I was just like I could not believe that happened to me because I just Ugh, it's so frustrating when you finally, I've been playing those cups for weeks trying to get them, trying to get perfect three gold stars. Fortunately, I finally did get all three stars in the star cup, which I will have pictured here, even though it doesn't say 150cc, I do have it there, I promise you that. And I currently have two gold stars for the special cup in 150cc, so we're getting there, and then I'm also planning on filming my Mario Kart 8 Let's Plays of the rest of the cups, which are the remakes or the rows that aren't new. So that is going to be coming very soon. So every day during the week, I check in on my Tomodachi Life for about 5 to 10 minutes every so often throughout the day, every day. I found that Tomodachi Life isn't a game that I'm like spending two or three hours on in a period because I have about only, I only have the first floor of my apartment complex filled with me so I definitely need to get some more me's in there I've just been very selective like I just wanted to have like my friends and like real life people uh, that I know from my friends that just like yeah just me's that I know uh, so I plan on putting some more me's in there finding some more and I really do love Tomodachi Life I don't know if it really is a game that was worth um, I paid about just under $30 because of a sale so I really don't think it was worth the $35 suggested retail price starting. Maybe $25, $24.99 is a suggested retail price. Uh, but one thing coming up next week, Best Buy is having a buy one, get one free sale on 3DS games. Literally, buy one, get one free. They are on select 3DS games. I know it's like Pokemon X, Pokemon Y... Uh, I'm trying to think of the top of my head. Kirby, Mario Garth, Party, Mario Party, Tomodachi Life, Bravely Default, A Link Between Worlds. I think the new Disney game for the 3DS that recently came out. Also some Wii U controller accessories with a gift card. And the Mario & Luigi 3DS XL is on sale. It's going to be on sale, so definitely great deal. Great deals and sale for Nintendo people coming up. I'm keeping you guys updated on my Facebook and my Twitter, don't worry. Last week on the 7th, Pokemon and Nintendo reached 
over, what was it, 100 million GTS trades. I believe that was the number. So they finally released the Fancy Vavillon, and I did get mine. And I know a couple of people were asking me if I got the Pokeball one, but I know that was like an exclusive that wasn't available to North America. Uh, so if I get it, I want to get a legitimate one. So I know some people like clone things and do hacks and... I'm one of those people where I like all my things legitimate, so I'm, I, I understand if you're trying to help me, if you want to get me a Pokeball, fan, Pokeball, the villain, but I like to get things legitimate, so if you have one that you don't want, which probably is very, very slim, um, I'll take it off your hands. So, but yeah, I did get mine. Definitely get yours. It is only available until the end of the month. Just connect your 3DS to the internet once you have your Pokemon X or Y in your 3DS and go get it from the interwebs and put it in your game. Yeah. So growing up, I never had the Xbox, any of the Xbox systems. I picked up an Xbox. It's like right over there. And I don't have the cables for it. It's the original Xbox One. The original Xbox. The, really the first one. So there are some things I'd maybe like to look for and try and get, uh, get the cables. And I just never was an Xbox person. And it wasn't because I don't like the system. It was just because it never came across in my experience of life when I was younger. So I started playing a little bit of Halo 3 because I wanted to defeat my boyfriend. And we did online, not online, but we just did multiplayer. And it was really ticking me off because he was purposely going easy on me. And he was still beating me. Like, he was like, he would literally just jump around and he's like, I'm gonna get you, oh, I'm gonna get the flag! We were like playing the capture the flag um, option on multiplayer, and I was just like, I was getting steamed. I was legitimately getting angry and frustrated and wanted to throw a controller at him. So what I did the very next day is I played about a couple or a few hours of Halo 3 in the story mode, mission mode. Uh, whatever it is, it was like really my first time really playing Halo 3, so I'm going to be starting to play. I was like, like I was liking it. Um, I had to play it on low volume, but I'm going to have to restart it when I put my profile, because I do have a 360 profile, or an Xbox Live one, so I could at least have a save file and it has my username. But I'm going to get good. I'm going to get better at Halo 3, and I'm going to learn to kick some butt. And I will kick his butt, and I don't know if I will be able to play online. So I'd really like to open up my options to just besides Nintendo, because games are games. I like games. And if someone is better at me that I, when I really want to beat them, I will work to kick their butt. I decided to kick out the good old Super NES, and I have the Game Boy player where, you know, you stick your Game Boy playing cartridge into your Super NES, and then your Game Boy game, and then... You play your Game Boy games on the TV. So I got out Pokemon Yellow and I was starting to think, you know what? I have got this four years ago. I've done this with almost all of my Pokemon games. I would get to Victory Road and I would stop playing. Because I would want to level grind on Victory Road and like make sure that I'm set for the Elite Four so I don't get any defeats. And I take forever level grinding and training my Pokemon. And so I was just like, okay, I'm going to decide I'm going to start... Level grinding Pokemon Yellow, eventually that's going to be a goal in the next coming weeks to do it at a regular schedule at least once or twice every week to make sure I'm playing it. And I went to my Pokemon box in the PC and I noticed, oh, I randomly traded some Pokemon that are like level 100. And I'm, I'm not going to use them to go through the Elite Four because I believe that I need to use my Pokemon that I trained from when I got them when they were little eggs or caught in the wild or given to me in the game and I'm going to defeat the Elite Four that way the right way. I don't know, I'm just one of those people, I'm not the biggest fan of doing any kind of cheats or hacks in games just because I like to do things legitimately because it feels like my obligation as a gamer to play things the right way. I don't know, I have this weird mindset. And then lastly, on Saturday, I held my first Mario Kart 8 tournament with you all, and it was a blast, and I cannot believe I raced for four hours straight with a lot of you, and I literally took one break from a race to go get something to eat, like grab a bowl of cereal, I haven't eaten in like four or five hours, I need to grab something. So it was a lot of fun. Here are the results from that race tournament that night. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get first. I got second, but congratulations to the winner. What happened was is if you joined, you played like eight races in a row, and that took your like total points to like be in the roster. 
So after those eight races, you could join and play it unlimited, just like you wouldn't get points that go toward your score to try and be the high score in that tournament. So what I'm going to do next time is just have like a no limits on races and we all just race just to race for fun because you guys want to race me. I understand and I don't want to say that like you want to race me. I mean like I know you guys want to race me and I'd rather just race to race and not do it as a competition. So I'm going to try to do it as a weekly thing. Not guaranteed, but if anything comes up where it becomes a weekly thing or once every two weeks, I'll let you guys know. If this is your first time watching me, make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you check out the description for links to my social media and other pages that will let you know when I upload videos and just let you know things about my video making. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!